Hi, I'm Rob from Car.US Circuits, and this video explains how to install my new ski board, ski display solution. When you get your package in the mail, it's going to come in one of these outstanding Car.US Circuits boxes that have a summary of my website right there printed on the box. You know it's quality product when it comes in quality packaging, right? Inside, you're going to find a cable that you're going to use to connect it up to the machine. You're going to find a scoreboard, which is your LED replacement for the original scoreboard. And inside this bag, you're going to find a ball count that has a brand new baffle as well as the actual electronics to drive the ball count display. And it's all brand new, includes the brand new lens. So let's take a few minutes and walk through exactly how to install all this into your ski ball machine. So I left one part out when I discussed what was in the box. There's also this very important bag that has two banana mounting pegs that we'll be using to attach that score display to your actual light baffle. Alright, so here we are with my ski ball machine. As you can see, the machine is turned off. We're going to go ahead and take the bezel out. That's step two completed. Not very hard, right? Step three is to remove both the baffles for the score and for the ball count. I'll set those aside. Now you can see I've cheated on my machine because I've taken this board all the way out. But again, as a direction, spell out, you don't need to remove this board completely in order to do this installation. You only need to remove the light bulbs to create enough room for the new board to be installed. Now for steps five and six, I'm going to adjust the camera so there's a little more space to show you what I'm going on. There we go, that should work. All right, step five, we're going to install these two banana plugs through the new PCB, through the existing holes that are pre-cut for you. They simply thread through and screw on hand tight with nuts. And once you have those attached, you're going to take your score baffle. We're going to align this. And bring it up close so you can see what I'm doing. So that the banana plugs slide directly into two of the mounting holes. And if you've got it upside down, what happens is the lights won't fit through. So what we need to do, we take it out. Rotate it around the other way. And there you can see the LEDs fit cleanly into the score baffle. Next step is to tighten these a little tighter to make sure everything is nice and snug. So in step seven, I'm going to reach down here. I grab the assembly that is the ball count. Um, it has the board, ball count board pre-installed in it. It's right side up when the lettering on the board is facing up. And we're going to attach this six pin cable to the ball count output on the score PCB. Now that only fit in one way. If you try to fit it in backwards, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it physically is blocked by the mechanics of the connector. Oops, I always dropped it on the floor. When I plug it in correctly, it snaps in very easily. Now I'll reach down for step, I think we're on step eight. I'm going to take the wire that is provided. This is a new wire to connect to the seven pin connector. And again, like the other um, ball con connector, it is keyed so it only fits on one way. It snaps in place just like that. Once you have that in place, we're going to walk you through how to plug the six pin connector back into, I have a Model S machine here, so I'll be able to show you that. That's the same situation on a Model H machine. I'll have to adjust the camera angle so you can see that. So I wasn't able to get my camera into the ski ball machine, but I did take a couple of pictures. Here you can see the original connector and the color scheme. And then here is the replacement wire that has a very similar color scheme to the original. This is a six conductor version of the connector wire. Here again is the original. I'm going to show you the four, connect, four conductor conversion as well. With the four conductor version, you can see the red and the black are in the same position as the original wire. 
Both the four and the six conductor wires are functionally identical. The only difference is that the four conductor wire I made in-house, while the six conductor wire I had built outside from another source. Great, now with that last wire connected, all there's left to do is to mount the ski score onto the mounting pegs where it came off of back earlier in the video and the ball count onto the mounting pegs where your original light baffle was. Get your wires out of the way so that you can close things up. That'll all come together smoothly. It's good to make sure that all your connections are correct and then you're ready for the exciting turn on. And you'll see that quick pattern and then as the machine boots up, the computer takes control and you're off with your new displays. And that concludes my video.